the College of Dental Surgeons was alerted when one of Mr. Wu's clients complained to us about the treatment she received from him. Mr. Wu is not a dentist. He is neither qualified nor competent to practice dentistry in British Columbia. We do not know what, if any, dental training he has. The instruments taken from Mr. Wu's residence during the search and seizure were not properly cleaned or sterilized. Other evidence from the investigation suggests he may have been reusing needles and other contaminated materials. Overall, there was a gross lack of basic hygiene on the premises. It's scary stuff and again highlights the fact that if you don't go to somebody who's regulated and, and does this as a matter of course because they care but also because they have to, um, this is the this kind of stuff that scares us. We begin with a story that may cause you dentists. more anxiety about going to the dentist. Hundreds of people in the metro Vancouver area are being investigated. An imposter practicing dentistry without a license and not properly cleaning or sterilizing his instruments. The College of Dental Surgeons of BC has shut down an illegal practice in Burnaby. It was allegedly run by a man with no dentistry training. A Burnaby man is accused of illegally practicing dentistry 10 years after a court ruled he was not entitled to do so. This is that dentist who was operating illegally in a legal clinic out of a house. How do you go to an illegal dentist clinic in a house? I, I, I find it bizarre. Anyone would go to an illegal dentist clinic in some guy's house. Upon entry, we discover that one of the bedrooms had been converted into a dental office. We seized a significant amount of dental equipment and materials, as well as approximately 1,500 client files. The fake dentist was working out of this home on Southwood Street in Burnaby for the last 18 months and using equipment that may not have been cleaned or properly sterilized, including syringes. There was gross hygiene uh, issues that were found there. As a precaution, we are recommending that any person who has been treated by Tung Sheng Wu get tested for hepatitis B, hepatitis C and HIV. Pretty frightening for patients. What happens for them now? Well, Fraser Health is going to send letters to those it can find addresses for. So this is going to be a slow process. Likely more people will find out watching the Mandarin edition of Global National News than from Fraser Health. I think it's kind of rude that your granny, your receptionist. Yo, will you recognize my benefits? I'm guessing that you won't. Your certificate is counterfeit. <laughs>So it was a remedy that was offered in a courtroom that this man was not in. Do we know where he is or what his whereabouts are? We are actively uh, working with the authorities to try and locate him. Next Monday, the college will go to court to get an injunction and contempt order against David Wu. They're seeking jail time and a fine. Yesterday, he missed a court appearance. CBC's Richard Zussman joins me live from Vancouver with the latest. I take it police can't find this guy. Any idea where he might be? Suhanna, the College of Dental Surgeons in British Columbia is looking for him. They have a sense that he still is in Canada. There were fears that he'd fled the country. They have a feeling he's here, but it's all part of the investigation. A health story in B.C. has prompted a Canada-wide manhunt. Authorities are trying to track down David Wu, a rogue dentist wanted for operating an illegal clinic in his bedroom. We're learning today that he could have been looking to set up shop in Ontario. And for the first time in his history, the BC College of Dental Surgeons is offering a reward to anyone who provides information leading to his arrest. As David Tung Shen Wu is now wanted right across Canada, arrestable by any police agency for contempt of court.